Hey guys, it's Igor with CA Tune. Behind me is the 92 BMW E30 convertible Rocket Bunny Pandem. Customer had called us and we went back and forth on some ideas. He wanted a E30 convertible that was wide bodied that he could take to shows, enjoy, drive around Southern California. You know, that's what it's all about with having it be a convertible drop top, low to the ground, wide, attention getter, whatever you want to call it. No, no, I don't. <laughs> There's a lot of hate, a lot of discriminatory things, you know, a lot of likes too. I mean, it's either too wide. Why would you cut up a car? Why would you do it in that color? You should be burned at the stake, you know, a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's also a lot of likes. How did you do this? How did you do that? You know, it comes with the territory. We went back and forth on the colors quite a few times, thinking about what would look good uh, what would be attention grabbing and what would be receptive and what hasn't been done really because so many 30s out there you want something that's going to stand out especially on a big build like this uh, and it, eventually the customer actually came up and said why don't we do Grigio Medio and there was a, a picture of a car on the internet at I think it was an F-Series BMW that had it and it looked really cool so with that we went with all the Ferrari colors, you know, the outside being Ferrari gray, interior being Ferrari and the red top, it all just ties together. Hardest part has to be the right-hand drive conversion. Um, going from a right-hand drive car to a left-hand drive car is a lot easier. Um, you're just moving things over, doing it the other way around. You have to fabricate parts, you have to install pieces, you have to find all the pieces and we don't have very many right-hand drive cars over here, so it, it, it took a, an abundance amount of work and effort. So with cutting the car up, I mean, obviously with a convertible, it's a little different. The, on the sides, it goes lower, so the kit has to be modified a bit. Um, and to get all the pieces to fit as well as we did, it took a little bit of effort cutting the car up. You're exposing the interior and parts of it. So we had to enclose all that and not just leave it to the elements where water and everything else can get into it. No duct tape, not whatsoever. I mean, we did it the right way. We pre-drilled all the holes, did you know rib nuts with the nice stainless hardware. I mean, you know, we did the felting all around the kit, so it, it ties everything together. My favorite part of the build, oh, uh, I, I, hard to say. There's so many nice things about it. The interior is probably one of my favorites. It, it's just the color pops, and it, it's, when you're driving it, it, it feels great. So with the suspension, we went with Airlift Performance Struts uh, airbags and with the management the customer wanted AccuAir management and that gives you kind of best of both worlds you can go up and down it's got presets you can get in and out of steep driveways you can get into the trailer whatever life may bring you uh, it wasn't all that difficult it's pretty much self um, put together you just have to install it install the brackets and that sort of stuff and it's, it works well. It drives great. The thing that actually scoots, we've got a fully rebuilt motor in it, all new uh, bits under the hood. We've got CSF radiator, our hoses, Miller Performance induction kit. It really does move and it's a lot of fun to drive. We have a 410 LSD in it uh, and it propels it really nicely. Uh, it's a little bit of a high RPM on the freeway, but you know, who gives a crap? It's just fun. It's a trick to it, I tell you that. You know, we're used to driving left-hand drive cars here, so, and shifting with the right hand, so being on the opposite side, uh, it takes a while to get used to going over to the right side just to get in the car, instead of, you know, where the driver's side normally is on the left, and you come up to the car and you're like, I'm an idiot, I need to go to the other side. And then you're driving, and you're trying to switch with the left hand, and yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it definitely is, Totally different. I mean, try going through a drive-through. Yeah, well, uh, they're, they are rotiform wheels, uh, two-piece forged. Uh, they're 16 by nine front and rear. Uh, they're uh, different size lips and barrels front and rear. So that way, that way you get the effect that you want with the kit. As far as the exact ET and everything, uh, rotiform has those settings. I don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, tires are Toyo. 
our triple eights, so you get plenty of stickiness with that, and they're just phenomenal. Uh, SEMO is great. We ended up taking the E30 there. Uh, we entered it into the uh, Battle of the Builders with SEMA, and we got into the top 40 with the car, which is a phenomenal feat for us. Uh, we've done it last year, and we were honored to be accepted into that category this year. Uh, we did well with the car, what we expected. Uh, there's not too many BMWs or E30s for that matter at SEMA shows, so for it to be accepted and then judged and then to get into the top 40 is amazing. Super happy. Next to the car, it goes back to Southern California to its owner, so he can enjoy it and take it to more shows. Uh, probably do a couple more things on it aesthetically, but it's pretty much perfect the way it is. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment below, let us know what you think. We've got a lot more builds coming up. We want to share them with you. Uh, we want to hear from you. We've got the full write-up on our blog, and that's at blog.cutune.com. You can get most of the parts on our website at cutune.com. Comment below, subscribe. See you next time.